What can you learn from the blockbuster movie Jurassic Park about producing your own online videos for your business? Find out in today's episode. I'm Jamie Geffner. And I'm Steve Geffner, and we're the creators and owners of Geffner Productions. We specialize in online video production, strategy, and education for the entrepreneur. So if you're an entrepreneur who wants to learn how to use online video to transform your business, then you're in the right place. Let's, Let's talk, talk video. video. Hi, and welcome to the show. Today's viewer question comes from Katie in Austin, Texas. Katie writes, Dear Jamie and Steve, I'm getting ready to do videos for my website and I was planning to film them myself. I have the newest iPhone, which I know has a pretty good camera, and my husband knows the basics of how to edit videos on the computer. My business coach told me to look into having my website videos professionally filmed and edited, but I don't really get the point of spending all that extra money when I feel confident that I can do a decent enough job on my own. What are your thoughts on this? Thanks, Katie. This is one of our favorite questions to answer, and it's something that we get asked all the time. Now, as entrepreneurs ourselves, we know that especially when you're just starting out, it can be very tempting to try to do everything yourself and save all that extra money on hiring professionals to do things for you. However, as we've learned the hard way, that's not always the most effective way to go about building a successful business as quickly as possible. Now, one thing you said in your letter is that you think you can do a quote, decent enough job on your own. While that may get you by, our question to you is whether just getting by is going to get you the results that you really want in your business. Doing videos that only do a decent enough job may not reflect properly on the quality of work you do and also the quality of customer you're looking to attract, especially if you offer a high ticket item or service that you're asking customers to pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars for. This brings to mind a great story that would best be illustrated in a segment we like to call Insight from Hollywood! Today's Hollywood Insight comes from, in my opinion, one of the best movies ever created, Jurassic Park. Now, in case you haven't seen it, or maybe it's been a while since you have, here's a little backstory. It's about a man who decides to create a theme park called Jurassic Park, filled with different species of genetically engineered dinosaurs cloned from prehistoric DNA. He enlists the help of the best scientists, engineers, and paleontologists from all around the world to help him pull it off. But before the park is scheduled to open to the public, his investors demand that he bring in experts to certify that the park is safe for visitors. Actor Jeff Goldblum plays the role of Dr. Ian Malcolm, who's there to give his expert advice, and in one of my favorite scenes at the beginning of the movie, explains it this way. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Basically, he's worried that even though the scientists think they have this whole dinosaur cloning thing figured out, there are a lot of unpredictable things that can happen when you mess with Mother Nature. And we all know what happens next, don't we, Katie? Okay, well, if you don't, I don't wanna spoil it for you, but let's just say that the park never actually opens to the public. Anyway, Katie, I'm sure you're wondering how this all relates to online video. I think what Steve is trying to say is that just because you can produce your own online videos doesn't necessarily mean that you should. Exactly. <laughs> to answer your question, whether or not you should film your own online videos depends on certain factors. First, the type of video you're planning to produce and what the purpose is for that video. For example, there are certain key videos that are used on your website to establish your credibility to your potential clients and customers, such as the website welcome and opt-in video for your homepage, your brand story video for your about me page, and your free series of training videos that people get when they opt into your mailing list. In our opinion, you should definitely make the investment in hiring professionals to produce, film, and edit these types of videos for you. People who know all the technical details about the proper lighting, sound, cameras, editing, scripting, etc. Now, we know you're someone who understands the value of making an investment in yourself and your business because you mentioned in your letter that you have a business coach. I promise you that this investment will pay off in your ability to attract the kind of clients and customers that you actually want to work with. Those types of people who understand, just like you do, the value of making an investment in themselves. Now, there are other types of videos that it is much more practical for you to learn to do on your own. For example, if you're planning to do a weekly blog show, like we're doing with this show, but of course geared towards your audience, then it may not be practical or feasible for you to hire a team of professionals to film and edit your weekly show for you, especially if you're first starting out your company. Of course, that doesn't mean that we think you should just turn on that iPhone camera or 
God forbid, your webcam and start talking. We very strongly believe that if you're gonna be doing it by yourself ever, then you need to get educated on the proper producing, filming, and editing techniques so that your videos are able to give you the results that you're looking for. Right, because we actually think that having poor quality videos on your website or blog can hurt you and your reputation just as much, if not more, than having good quality videos can help you. But on the plus side, if you do your own videos without any help or training, you're probably not gonna get eaten by a T-Rex. But you may get eaten up in the world of business. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Katie, I hope this helped you get a little bit clearer about why you might want to consider hiring professionals or at least getting professional training to learn how to do your own online videos. Or maybe it just re-inspired you to watch the movie Jurassic Park. And to the rest of you at home, if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment below and tell us what are your thoughts about producing your own online videos for your business. For more great tips and advice about online video production and strategy for the entrepreneur, make sure you join our mailing list at geffnerproductions.com to receive weekly blog show episodes just like this one. And if you have a question that you'd like to see us answer on an upcoming show, feel free to email it to us at letstalkvideo at geffnerproductions.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.